This is problem in the chapter problem 5.27 from chapter 5 of Brigham and Houston's Fundamentals of Financial Management, Concise Ninth Edition. And this is a real world problem you run into uh, when trying to evaluate uh, interest rates for deposits. Bank A pays 2% interest compounded annually on deposits, while Bank B pays 1.75% compounded daily. Part A, based on the effective annual rate or effective yield, which bank should you use? Okay, so bank A and bank B. The effective rate, or equivalent annual rate, adjusts for uh, uh, the fact that if you earn interest compounded more than once per per year, then the effective rate's actually higher because you start earning interest on the interest sooner. Okay. We have an Excel function for that, and most financial calculators have one too. The nominal rate is the stated rate or the annual rate. It's 2% for bank A and it's 1.75% for bank B. Periods per year is 1 for bank A and it's 365 for bank B. All right, so the formula is equals to one plus the annual rate divided by the number of periods per year, we'll call that M, raised to the number of periods per year, minus one, okay? And then the effect formula takes the nominal or the APR and then M, the number of periods per year. So if I was going to do this manually for bank B is equal to 1 plus that divided by that raised to that, minus 1. And that gives you a slightly higher interest rate. It's going to be the exact same uh, over here. It's 2%. Because the annual, when you have annual compounding, the effective rate and the nominal rate are the exact same number. So this 1.75% with daily compounding still doesn't add a whole lot of, uh, of money in there because you're 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 still earning a little bit of interest on very little additional interest. If we do the effective rate, effect, and then if you open parents, all you have to do is put the nominal rate, which is the annual percentage rate, and then oops, and then the number of periods per year. And format that as a percent to two places. And again, you'll get the exact same number because that's all that Excel's doing. Uh, is actually, you know, you take that out to all the decimal places you want, but we're just showing 1.77. All right. Which bank should you choose? 2% is more than 1.77%. However, Part B says, could it be influenced if you want to take your money out during the year? If you have that money on account for 364 days and take it out, then Bank B is going to hand you back your money and zero interest. Bank B, on the other hand, is going to hand you back your money plus 364 days of interest. So uh, with Bank A, if you took it out early, you effectively earn 0%. With bank B, you earn whatever the daily rate is times the number of days that you earn it. So, yeah, if you're going to pull it out early, uh, uh, you should pay attention to stuff like that.